Hello. In this video I'll show my experiment of genetic algorithms in cellular automata. In my previous video I've not achieved proper results. Now I've got something good. Let's better explain. The world is made from tiles and it's enclosed. Excluding empty tiles, there are types of cells. Sprout white, wood red, root blue and leaf green. Each organism is made from these cells. Organism has energy and genome. What about genome? It contains 64 genes. Every tick each sprout executes one gene and then increments gene counter. Each gene has a command. Wait and grows. Grow right, grow up, left, or down. When a sprout grows, it leaves another cell on its place. Type of left cell is also righted as a gene. Also, generated sprouts waits until parent organism is dead. When organism mutates, a few genes can change to random. Let's do a simple start. We will have a sprout that every time leaves a wood cell. Next step is to add leaves and roots. Leaves and roots produces energy, while every cell of an organism consumes it. I don't tell how much energy is produced, because I have to, to edit balance every time to make suitable conditions. Also there is a bug with sprouts. Fixed the bug and corrected the balance. You can see fast growth. Have increased sprouts energy consumption. So now only a few of starting organisms surviving. Added more energy consumption. So surviving of starters is less possible. Though, after this, survived organisms fills the world. It dated balance a little. This is the result. Then I have changed qualities of the world. So as closer to the center leaves are, the more energy they gives, while roots lesser. And vice versa. It's like, sun at the center, nutrients on the edges. You can see that center is empty, because organisms oriented to grow roots. However, if we increase number of starters, the center will be filled too. Then I did an important update. Now some sprouts can be active after generating, so they affect main organism growth. However current balance leads to extinction. After balance correcting, there started appearing of almost immortal organisms, which narrows themselves to stasis and quickly waits death. Also you can see that species are getting themselves to the center. Maybe because of new balance, what gives more energy to leaves. Okay, let's complicate the problem. Leaves generate energy only if there is no more than leaves. As you can see, almost nothing changes. Why, of course, in previous simulations leaves was apart all the way. Okay, I'll count not leaves neighbors, but every neighbor. Organisms extincted quickly. I will need to change the balance. So this is the result. I have increased energy coming from roots and leaves. As 
you can see, to start only uttermost species survived, because Roots is most efficient there. However then they spreaded and evolved to a kind, able to survive at the center. They are trying to grow leaves at edge however it still isn't very effective. Between world center and edges, where not many sun and not many nutrients, there is very few organisms. I'll better end at this moment. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you want more video.